All present, count it for us, sir. Order, present arms. Present! Arms! Come forward by twos. Lieutenant James Hamilton. Lieutenant William Morgan. Captain Gary O'Hara. Lieutenant John Derry. Lieutenant Philip O'Hara. Captain Jerry Stewart. Lieutenant George Peck. Lieutenant William Slade. Look, Phil, they're sawed off. So is mine. And that goes for all of them. The Captain. All the guns have had their barrels sawed off. Is that how you Yankees keep your word? But we certainly have kept our word. That weapon is perfectly capable of firing. You think so? With the barrel sawed off, it can't shoot straight. Did it ever occur to you that your aim's not as good as you think? You mind lending me your gun? If you're not afraid to. Here you are. Come and get it, men. The rum ration's ready, and it's first come, first serve. Excuse me, Corporal. Now it's my turn. That'll be enough, Captain. You've proved your point. Now you can stop making an exhibition of yourself. In granting you the honors of war, my government wanted to recognize your valor as soldiers. Therefore, these weapons are only meant to represent a symbol of the honor that the Union is granting you. Now you are free to go. Lieutenant Stanley. Lieutenant William. Captain Edward Smith. The honors of war. A hundred and ninety, and two hundred. Well, friend, you've cleaned me out. You're lucky. There ain't another horse within thirty miles. Well, Phil, are you really set on going out west? I'm afraid so, Gary. I've given this a lot of thought. I'm not going back to Virginia like this. Out west, if you're rebel or Yankee, it makes no difference. Look, take this horse. It's a better one, and you've got a long ride ahead of you. Thanks. When you get home to Richmond, say hello to Judy. I will. Oh, here. It's a key to my savings box. There isn't much, but you and Judy are going to need it. Thanks, Phil. And good luck. And you too, Gary. Remember, out west there's land and work for every one of us, and you and Judy can always join me. <laughs> I'll think about it, Phil. The last town you come to on the Overland Trail is called Yellowstone, and I'll leave word where you can find me at the stage office. I won't forget. So long, Phil. So long, Gary.
this is Phil's gift to us. Remember? I told you about it. Oh, please, Judy. You mustn't. Don't... Don't be so upset. You've seen it for yourself. There's no future for us here. Yes, I believe you. But I hate us being separated. Even for a moment. I want you to know that I've given this a lot of thought. And I'm convinced that this is the only thing we can do. Gary, take me with you. Can't we leave together? No, Judy. Not yet. But, Gary... It would be difficult. I've got to find Phil. I've got to find work and a place for us to stay. While I'm gone, you should try and sell the house for as much as possible. It'll only be three months before we're together. Come on now. Let me see you smile. That better, darling? That's perfect, Mrs. O'Hara. There aren't many. But I think they're going to come in handy in the meantime. You should take them with you. No, I'll get along. I'll tell you what. We'll divide them, all right? Yes, my dear. You take these, and the silver dollar's mine. But, Gary... No, no buts. You agreed to divide them, and this is the way I want it. And I swear to you, I'll make a million of them. My word of honor. <laughs> <laughs> I find something to do in this town to make an honest dollar. Come on, Jack. Time for dinner. Yeah, sure is. Time for grub. Excuse me. Do you have any work a fella could do? No. Well, I'm pretty good at most anything, and I wouldn't ask for much. I already told you, no. What do you want? Some work so I can buy myself a horse and move on out of here. In Yellowstone, there's no work for strangers. You're a Johnny Reb, ain't you? So what? The war is over. For us, yes. But it don't seem to be for the rebels. Round here, there's a band of <coughs> filthy outlaws. They're terrorizing the whole community. And though it's no fault of yours, I can't hire you. I see. Well, I'm just passing through looking for some land to work. There must be some way, some opportunity to earn a couple of dollars. Hmm, you might try McCory, the richest man in town. He might help you. 
Where'll I find him? Right down there. You can't miss that sign. Thank you. If all goes well, I'll come back for this. If not, well, maybe this will be worth $50. All right. So long. That tin horn Blackie. He's got a lot of nerve to try blackmailing me, McCory. How much does he want? He told me to leave town. Well, that's what he's after. You should have called me. Jim and I would have straightened him out. You know I don't want any trouble with the law. You've got to do something about it. Have a talk with the sheriff. Mm, Blackie figured this perfect. He knows the sheriff is out of town and won't be back until tonight, so he's made the appointment for seven. If we could only stall for time. One thing's certain, no one's gonna railroad me out of this town. What do you want? There's a guy out there who wants to see you. Who is he? He didn't say, but I reckon he's another one of those good-for-nothing confederates looking for work or a handout. I don't have time to waste. You look after him. Nothing doing, friend. So you can move along. But I want to see Mr. McCory personally. Well, he's busy. Well, then I'll wait. I told you to get moving. Pronto. <laughs> stand for this in my office. I just asked him to leave, and he up and hit me. It doesn't matter what he did, Jim. You've got the street out there you can brawl in. Now we'll see if you're yellow. Come on outside. Mr. McCory? Yeah, that's right. I wanted to see you, but now it seems I got something else to do. Be right back. Major point, mister. Now, leave him alone. That took a bit of doing, mister. Taking a chance like that without even drawing your shoot iron. What use could I have made of this? Oh, sort of. A union trick, ain't it? Uh, are you looking for work? Yes, sir. Maybe I have something for you. Follow me. You don't seem to be afraid of nothing. But I bet you could use a few dollars. <laughs> you sure guessed right. How'd you like to earn some real money? And you can do it in a very short time. But you're gonna have to risk your life. Go on. Well, there's a character in town who goes by the name of Blackie. It's not going to be easy. He may be one of them rebel bandits uh, the farmers are scared of. Now, I figure he's got a new angle. What? Trying to railroad me out of this here town. But why haven't you told the sheriff? Do you think I'd be talking to you if the sheriff was in town? He's going to fetch the county judge and won't be back until tonight. And Blackie would have already pulled out. And just what do I do? You gotta bring him in. And turn him over to the sheriff. What's it worth to you? A farmstead? Where you could settle down. And $500 in ready cash. That's generous. It's worth it, and besides, you'll be risking your life. And for that, I'm prepared to pay. All right, I'll do it.
Here's half the money. Go and get yourself a room at the hotel near the saloon. Clean up and be ready at seven. I'll be there. Say, what's your name? O'Hara. Gary O'Hara. Buddy. How do you think Blackie's going to react when he's handed over to the sheriff? I think he'll go for his shooting iron. Oh, yeah. Yeah, then we've got to keep O'Hara covered. Because if Blackie pulls his gun in an unarmed man... He'll shoot to kill. Somebody's got to help that boy. Yeah, that's just what I was thinking. If all goes well, we'll have a small ranch of our own where we can settle down and build. I'll know tonight. But wait to hear from me before you leave. This will be the end of our separation, darling. And we'll be together soon. O'Hara. Blackie's arrived. Right. Excuse me. Would you put this on the next stagecoach going south? I'm sorry, Mr. O'Hara. It left two days ago, and the next one won't leave for at least another two weeks. <laughs> Never mind. Thank you. I'm ready. Come on, then. There he is. You see him? The one in the black vest. Lucky he's got his back to the door. Don't worry, I'm prepared. I wouldn't want it to look like you were forcing a showdown. You just explain to him you're handing him over to the sheriff so everyone will hear you. By the time I get through telling him that, I'll be dead. Don't worry, O'Hara. We're right behind you. All right. Blackie, I'm taking you in. Just stay easy. We're going to take a little walk to the sheriff's office. Now turn around. Real slow like. Phil. like some trouble. you got here, Sheriff. Who started it? This poor tenderfoot was going to try to pull in Blackie for you. But Blackie drew iron first and shot him. And when I, Jim, and all the others arrived here, it was too late. In other words, you shot Blackie, didn't you? Except me. The other man was unarmed. It's true, Sheriff. That's what happened. I just didn't have the chance. Or I'd have shot the rat myself. McCory's a solid citizen. 
But it's clear that he and these men shot Blackie down. What are you going to do, Judge? Well, after all, there ain't nothing in the law that says you shouldn't defend a man who's completely unarmed, so I don't see anything criminal about this. Are you all witnesses? Yeah, Yeah, that's what happened, Sheriff. Well, if that's how it is. Okay, there's no case against you. Take care of the bodies, will you? McCoy, come by my office. You've got to sign a report. All right. Let's go, Judge. Take him outside. Come on now. We ain't gonna let a little shooting spoil the evening. Drink up. Get over there. Use it. Not a thing on him. Okay then. See, he has a high class burial. Bury him at this time of night. Here, look at this. His gun barrel's been sawed off, too. So well, let him you know. keep it. You know how Southerners feel about military honors. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be. If it ain't some homesteaders from Dixieland. Great. They'll save us a lot of trouble. Pull them out on the road. Whoa, whoa. What's all this? What do you want? Over here. Here are some passengers for you, no good rep like you. They may not be very talkative, but I think you'll find them good company. And now, get going, Rebs. kids. They live all through the war and get killed when it's finished. He's alive. Look, Mary Lou, it was this silver dollar. What do you know? It stopped the bullet. Let's take him right back to town and get him to a doctor. We can't do that. Lord only knows what trouble he may be in. We'll take him with us out west. It'll be God's will if he lives. Help me. We'll get him in the wagon. Financing me, you did yourself a good turn. Well, look who's here. I'm sorry, Donaldson. Unfortunately, I can't do anything more to help. So that's it. The bank isn't going to wait. That's right. Well, then, we property owners, in order to pay our debts, are going to have to sell our land and not finding any buyers. You're going to step right in and very charitably take it over for a few cents an acre. There's no other solution. Yes, I know. The bandits steal all our livestock and then they burn all of our crops. And your bank won't give us a hand. Well, a day or two, sure, that I'll give you. But no more. All right. A few more days and then you'll have your money. I believe that when I see it. If you want to find a way, you could probably sell your harvest. As a matter of fact, that's what I'm going to do. Are you uh, sure about the others? We'll pay up too, McCory. Let me tell you, you're not going to get your hands on our property just for a few dollars. This time your game's up. Someone's helping us. Oh, yeah? Hmm. Hold it. It's no business of yours. You'll be getting your money when we promised it. That's for certain. Let's go. 
Come here. I'm going to pay a little visit to the shack this evening. I want all the men to be there. You tell them. Get. Buddy. I've got a little job for you. I don't know. I swear, I don't know. Has he talked yet? I've been yeah, talking him. Yeah, won't be long now. Start talking. Where's Donaldson planning to get the money? You heard what the man said. Now talk. Don't, don't. All right, I'll talk now. I'll, I'll tell you what you want to know. Don't. We're listening. And it better make sense. He's got a friend. A banker in Wisconsin. He's going to open up a branch in Yellowstone. They're bringing in a gold supply. And he's going to advance money to us. But that's all I know. Believe me, I swear it. That's enough. We got all we need from him. Purdy. Now, what are the orders? Head out for Donaldson's. You want us to burn the farm? Hmm, and something more. I want his yellow hide this time. That's not going to be simple. What if they barricade themselves inside again? Just sit far to the hay. That's all. And when they come out, it'll only take a couple of you to finish them off. You got it? Okay, boss. You can count on us. Let's get moving. So long, McCorry.
Up here, you three. Get those uniforms off. And as for Donaldson, the boss wants him dead. We'll finish him this time and be back to the shack before sundown. Hell yeah! Now, they're going to hear us and run for the house. Well, look here. Have either of you guys ever seen this Donaldson? No, not me. How we know it? you got to look for the man who gives the order. I got you. Seems you got trouble. Looks like the Indian's on the warpath again. Worse than that. Outlaws, bandits, and who are you? Drovers, just passing through. I asked you who you were. Take it easy, friend. Who are you, the man who gives all the orders? Nope. It's me. <laughs> oh, I see. Then we've got business with you. Yeah. I'm listening, gentlemen. All right, then. I owe you plenty, mister. Thank you. Shall we drink to that? Yes. My door is open. The sheriff and his deputies. Tell him you shot those men. If you've got a debt to settle with the law, my boy, don't worry, because I'll try to cover for you. I've got a debt to settle, but not with the law. Like you've had a close shave, Donaldson. Came out all right, though. What are you going to do now, Sheriff? What do you expect me to do? Once they cross the river, I got no more jurisdiction over them. The law says I've got to stop there. This time they may be waiting on our side of the river for those three to catch up. That's my only hope. If I catch up with them, they'll sure be sorry. On your horses, men. Mr. Donaldson, there's hardly any feed left for the stock, and our grain's been destroyed. Well, now I'm ruined. If my friend Blackie were still alive... You mean... he was your friend? Uh-huh. I was the one that convinced him to stay here with us. There was a man for you. When he was around, the bandits wouldn't dare to attack us. But I heard that he was an outlaw. Who told you that, outlaw? Blackie protected our interests. He was the best friend us farmers ever had. That's Blackie, my brother. It's my fault he's dead. But his silver dollar saved my life. That's quite a story, son. I know the McCory's at the bottom of this. He's the only one who has anything to gain by having the outlaws here. And he's the one who wants to rid himself of you. Evidently, my brother was on to something. You may have something there. Blackie was here on the afternoon of his death. <laughs> he said he had found out something that was going to put an end to all our troubles. And he sure was pleased about it. What was it? I guess we'll never know. It seems like he'd found some evidence that could be the answer to all our problems. And the next thing I know, he was dead. Wonder what he meant. I don't know. Evidence. 
Of course, that's it. Blackie had found some proof that the outlaws were tied in with McCory. All right, then, but I just can't understand why he didn't use it. Because he was killed before he had the chance. Where did my brother live? In a broken down farmhouse not far from here that everyone calls Carson's shack. Carson's shack. Thanks, Donaldson. That's something for me to go on. Perhaps he's hidden some document up there that you could try to find. There's one possibility in a hundred. And I'm not going to let it slip by me. Oh, look here. When does the stage from the south get in? In a few days, as far as I know. That's good. It'll give me time. Wait a minute. Then you're going up to Carson's shack. Yes, I am. To find the evidence we need. Now, where's that idiot hiding himself? Hmm. Mira, duerme. Well, that way to keep guard, leaving us wide open. Come on, now. Get on your feet.
Take it easy. It's your boss that I'm after. You gonna tell me where he is? Yeah, he's out. Well, uh, uh, wait inside. Come on. Why do you think I want something? Well, if you didn't, you would have killed them all. You're right. I wound up in a little trouble because of a cashier who was hard of hearing. But I could be of some use to you hombres. So I thought I'd pay you a visit. And this will show you I'm on the level. Cut the others loose. You boys really need someone like me. If you make it worth my while, I might decide to stick around. I'll make it worth your while. But don't you try to cross me. That's fair enough. You're a fool to trust him, Brad. Keep quiet. Remember, he could have killed you if he'd had a mind to. Only because of this idiot. He was outside and could have shot him three times over. Why didn't you shoot? I was afraid I'd hit you. You were afraid, all right. Afraid for that dirty rotten hide of yours. That's what you were afraid for? Who are you? Stop this. You're a lousy rebel like him, ain't you? Yep. But just remember, when I'm riled up, start praying. <laughs> you ain't no good. Let me try it. killed you yesterday, but I didn't because I recognize you. I'm from Richmond, too. Yeah, I was O'Hara. But let's keep it strictly secret under our hats. You don't have to worry yourself about that. But O'Hara, now you're a bandit. And you, why didn't you go home after the war? <laughs> well, I did. I lost everything I ever had, and my folks were killed in the war. After that, well, this came easy. There's no honor left for me. You've got as much honor as I have. And that's about all we got left. You're right. But you, how come you got in with Brad? What are you two doing here? Just chatting about old times. I told you, Brad. They're both Southern, and you can't trust a Southern. You ready to cash in? Don't try anything. Now get out. The boss is coming. The boss? Well, then who are you? 
Well, I just give the orders. Get out, I say. Morning, boss. This here's the new man. Haven't I seen you somewhere else? It's likely. You'd better be quicker than Rex and his amigos were. They were stupid enough to get themselves killed, and Donaldson's still alive. I don't see how it happened. How could they have missed? Well, they did. This time, we've got something that's really going to pay off. Gold. Gold, you said? Yeah. A friend of Donaldson's is going to open up a new bank in Yellowstone. And the entire gold shipment arrives tomorrow afternoon. The sheriff and some men are escorting the stagecoach, and we'll be at Sparrow Hawk Pass about five. And all of you are going to be ready, because that's where we're going to take them. Do you want us in uniform? You can wear what you want. There ain't going to be no one alive to tell. Well, boys, that's it. <laughs> Dirty rebel stuff. I want it here. Yankee Doodle. You want it, you play it. You're gonna do like I tell you to. That was our last bottle. You done that deliberate. This time you're wrong, amigo. And just to prove it, I'll pay for another one. I'll even go for it. Here's my money. Where do we buy our whiskey? You'd have to go into town. Well, I'll get going. No. You stay. I may have something I'll be needing you for. I see. You don't trust me. No, I didn't say that. But you're not leaving here. You go. We always send him. But you gotta let me pay. Hey! Hey, wait. Listen, it's important. Maybe you don't believe it, but I'm no bandit. I swear it to you. I never thought you were, sir. Donaldson must be warned. If not, he'll be a goner. I'm no traitor. Hold up. It's a chance to redeem your honor, and you can't refuse. My honor. What do you know about it? You've got to. What's this, a falling out? <laughs> What about our whiskey? We were just talking about what kind to get. A good bourbon's what I always like. All right. All right. <laughs>
wait for me here. Afternoon, Donaldson. We're all set to go. We've got to change the plan, Sheriff. The bandits will hold up the stagecoach at Sparrowhawk Pass. How'd you find that out? Well, let's just say I've been tipped off. Then what's your plan? We've just got to beat them to it and get the gold off the wagon. All we have to do is meet the shipment at the Ford. I'll escort it with my men while you go with the posse to Sparrowhawk Pass and take the bandits by surprise. There's no choice. Uh -huh. I know. We better be on our way. Come on. Ahead of schedule. Oh, you must be trying to win some kind of a race. Are the Redskins after your scout, my boy? I'm the father of eight girls. If this one's going to be a boy, I want to be there when oh. it's born. Oh, so that's how it is. <laughs> Let's get on with the unloading. Uh, welcome to Yellowstone, miss. Thank you. Is there a hotel here? Yes, right down there. The Bell Star. Would you be so kind as to see about my luggage? Certainly, miss. There's a pretty gal. If I had her in my saloon, we'd make three times what we do now. We ain't seen nothing like that around these parts before. Lovely and alone in a frontier town. She'll find she needs a friend. We should offer the lady a hand. Why don't you go? You never know. Excuse me. Do you know a Mr. O'Hara? Gary O'Hara? But, uh, who are you? I'm Mrs. O'Hara. Do you mean, uh, that young man with the beard? Yes, that's him. I, uh, don't know what to say. Gary O'Hara's wife? Why, yes. Well, I'm honored to know you. I think I can help you. Thank you. Shall we? After you, ma'am. This way, please. Okay. Oh, look what lost it away. away. It's, it's right up those stairs. She must be a new arrival. Come on down, honey. We'll buy your drink. <laughs> Where's my husband? Uh, we're almost there. Hmm. Muy bien, amigo. This is much more than Just I expected, Mac. This lady is Gary O'Hara's wife. Gary O'Hara? Hmm. Uh, what can I uh, do for you? You're very kind. Won't you sit down? You must have had a long journey. Yes, from Richmond. What brought you to Yellowstone? Surely you must have heard. Heard what? Haven't you got any idea where I can find my husband? There's something you have to know. Gary, you sure was a brave man. What else did you say? Mrs. O'Hara, please try to be brave. But why? Has something happened? Well, madam, he's dead. Oh, my God. No. It's impossible. It's impossible. But I can't believe it. Oh, Gary. Gary. Gary died serving the law. There was a man called Blackie. He was murdered? 
he was, here in the saloon, by a coward. There was nothing we could do. The whole town mourned him. Can I see him? Where is he buried? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, buddy, do you know where the grave is? No. Call Jim for me. But you must know where he's buried if he died like you said. I can't believe he's dead. I'm awful sorry, it's true. You're hiding the truth. What have you done to him? Where is he? You're lying to me, sir. Please, Mrs. O'Hara, calm yourself. What do you want? Jim. If I remember correctly, weren't you the one who buried O'Hara? Sure was. This little lady would like uh, to know where you buried her husband. Take her up there, will you? You know where. Yes, sir. Come with me. I think you and I ought to be able to cheer up. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going, Johnny Reb. What's going on here? I'll tell you what's going on. This dirty sidewinder went straight to Juan Donaldson. Don't move. Where are you going? You were the one that told him to. You're in cahoots. No. He'd nothing to do with it. The idea was mine. And you? What have you got to say? What do you think? First of all, if I'd ever had the mind to cross you, I'd have done it before. If you're really with us, here's your chance. Prove it, then. We'll let you be the one to shoot this double-dealing traitor. I have a better idea. I can't kill an unarmed man. Get him a gun. Then I'll take care of him. It's all over but the shooting. We'll see about that. Hey, you. Get them two rifles. Oh, 
Speak up. Beat him. Make him talk, will you? Enough for now. He's out cold. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's finish him. Not until he's talked. Tie him up over there and fill his mouth up with salt. We'll soon know all we need to. There's nothing like a little salt in the tongue to make a man talk. You slim. Stick around and keep an eye on him. Well now, boys. Something more important. That bonanza. Are you sure this is the right road? It seems so far from town. Nearly there now. Hi. Hi. Hey, Brad. Come here. <laughs> Look at this. Slow down. And who's she? A very special guest. McCory's property. Give me a... Oh, no. Take it easy. I want her tied up. Make sure she's kept quiet hmm. until McCarry gets here. <laughs> Just leave it to me. It'll be a pleasure. Car, hey! You come along with me. Huh? Where are you taking me? <laughs> shipping right on the button. No hitches so far. Now it's up to us, Sheriff. That's right. Now we're out of the woods. In that wagon, there's enough gold to solve all the farmers' problems. We've got McCory where we want him, and I think that calls for a celebration. That's a great idea. He can't force our hands anymore, and we can sell our crops at an honest price. After you, amigo mio.
Now McCoy can do the rest. Hey, you. Take the wagon and meet Brad at Starhawk Pass. Come on, man. Let's have a drink. On Donald. <laughs> And you're free. Aren't you happy now? No, don't come near me. Keep away from me. You leave me alone. No. Stop there. What's the matter? I'm not going to hurt you. Huh? <laughs> We gotta get out of here, Gary. They'll be coming back any minute. You've looked everywhere for that document. What are we waiting for? Because I know Phil had some kind of proof. It's gotta be here. What does it matter? You know the truth now. No, the sheriff will never accept the word of a stranger against that of a high-up citizen like McCory. Gary, the bandits. Here they come. Come on. Hurry to the sheriff and tell him to get here right away. And you? I'll think of something. You've got to hurry. Make for that road. They won't see you. Quickly. friend is ready to talk now. Yeah. <laughs> the 
Water? Or would you rather have some more salt? Now talk. You're gonna pay for that. your husband now? He stayed up there to help me get away. You have to come at once. His life is in your hands. That's quite a story you told me. Rest assured my men and I will do everything we can. Excuse me. Listen, Sheriff. What is it? My car is on his way to the shack. Somebody's got a warning. You, get that woman to McCory's house and pronto. The rest of you come with me. See for yourself. I was lucky to get away alive. Who done it? The sheriff. He shot everybody and he's making off with the gold. The dirty double cross. I should have known it. I'll make him pay for this. Sheriff, Macari's men, they've all been shot. What could have happened? I don't know. It must have been that damned O'Hara. What about the gold? If O'Hara shows his face, shoot him on sight.
The gold's all here, Sheriff. Nobody's touched it. trying to warn me in time. Stupid maverick. We could have divided the gold. And now it's all mine. That sidewinder has tricked us. I know. I know that. He's really... Oh. Who? You. Where are you going? Get him, Jim. Where's Judy? I don't know nothing. I swear to you, I don't know where she is. around the house. Shoot anyone who comes near you. Know what? O'Hara's widow is inside. O'Hara's widow? She was brought by the sheriff. The sheriff? All right. We'll get ready. You, over there. Get behind the house. How'd you get away? That dirty tenderfoot. Yes, and he'll kill all of you. Ah, so that's how it is. My men will take care of him. Shh. 
Speak up or I'll kill you. Where is he? She's at, at Macquarie's house. Over here. Get up. You're going to come in very handy. Hurry. Get in the wagon. Get up. Gary, look out. Stay where you are, or I'll cut her throat. Throw your gun away. Now I want the other one. Over here. You know me now? Oh, here. Yeah. In person. And all thanks to this. It was Blackie's. My brother's! There's just one bullet. And at this distance, I won't miss. Gary! Gary! Hold it. Leave him to us. The folks of Yellowstone will take care of him. Now the 
Nobody knows the story of a man A man that goes on like he town to town He cries when people smile He smile when people cry A passionate woman lied to him She talks about a night without a moon He doesn't care, doesn't really 